What's up, everybody? We're going to try to explain slash figure out how Queen Merity actually works because this is the strangest kit I've ever seen. Uh, pretty much what I'm talking about is I started actually reading through her and if we go through her abilities that she has, I don't have them all on. So you need Missile Pod for the S2, you need uh, Radiator for the S3, Laser Arm turns on her S1, so we're, we're going to pick that one, okay? Which means that I'm only going to have an S1 to run, but that S1 now, because it's set as the only one, skill 1 damage cap plus 10,000, SCT recovery speed plus 100%, skill, skill 2 and skill 3 damage cap minus 5,000, SCT recovery speed minus 50%. That's what I don't understand, though, because it doesn't even let you use your S2 and S3, so who cares if it's charging, because you can only... I mean, you can equip all of them, but I don't think you're getting... Must be set to use skill cap, recovery speed, but one in skill two damage cap minus... So we'll go with the laser arm, right? That's the one we're going to be using, and... If you turn the other ones off and you have one on at a time, you get all these boosts from it. Or you could turn all of them on and be able to throw her entire kit, but without any of these boosts. So, what arc do we have? Oh, cool. We'll get to actually look at her S4. And we got to see it too much. She lifts a meteorite. So, oh, snap. So, let's hit him with that laser. Or not. There's our laser that's actually powered up, and it's doing substantially more damage than it was when I had her whole kit unlocked. But look at the S2 and the S3. I can't tap them. I can't use them. So the only thing I have now is like an S1 machine gun. And that's really cool, because that's really all she needs. If she's going to be using one of these elements to actually do badass damage, you're probably going to give her you know, that skill stock and that skill boost. Uh, and you're going to try to take as many of that one skill as you can so you can just super spam it. It charges super quick because of the bonuses that they get from it. But what it looks like is you're not getting the bonus if the other skills are on. If the other ones are on, you can use your S2 and S3, but you're not going to get bonuses to anything. If you only turn one of them on at a time, then you get that sick-ass bonus. And that's cool because each one of them is a different element. So depending on which fight you're going into, you're like, ah, for this fight... I'm going to have to spam my S3. So you turn that ability on, turn the S1 and S2 off, and you just build in your kit to empower your S3 and be able to throw as many of them as possible. And if that's what the fight calls for, you're going to have a huge advantage there, just dropping that one element over and over again, doing tons of damage with all these boosts on it. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, this is completely different from what we're used to playing a character. Cause I was looking at it, I was running her with all her abilities just to kind of like see what everything does. And then I started looking at the bonuses and I'm like, why am I not really seeing these bonus things proc? And I don't see all this extra, well it's because only one of them can be set at a time uh, to get those bonuses and it just turns off the other ones, which is cool, right? Uh, it's something completely different. No other character has something like this. Like, no other character is set up like this. So, let's see. We can turn the laser arm off. Uh, and let's go for the big S3. We'll go for the missile pod. Right? This time her missile pod is empowered. It's selected. So, her S3 is going to be the only skill that we can throw, but we're going to get that big ass boost to it honestly i don't even know why it says uh minus to your other charge rates because if you have it equipped you can't even use your other skills it cuts them off completely so why 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 would it matter if you got minus 50 percent to your sct charge for your s1 and s2 if they're off like that's what i don't understand about this ability let's see Okay, it doesn't show up anything here, but clearly, like, the S3 is the only thing highlighted, so 
that's the only thing we're going to be able to actually use. I got a feeling that when we get it, All right, here we go. Huge bonus to that. I like how she uh, she does a little bit of that laser work there and then shoots out missiles. Uh, the S3 is pretty damn solid. Looks like it does crazy good damage. Yes, it takes a second to charge, of course. Be much easier to spam the S1 through here. But there's that damage and the missiles. Uh, yeah, the damage is much higher now since this is the only one that I have equipped so this is interesting this is completely different than anything else that I'm used to in this game where you're actually toggling off different abilities in order to get some kind of cr crazy sick bonus and then you're just spamming that one ability it's like empowered and each ability is a different element obviously your S4 I don't think there's anything that affects your S4 but her S4 is just awesome uh, light damage very cool so very interesting something completely different different thinking outside of the box and again you're not going to be able to mess with any of the any of this if you have all of them equipped at the same time so just food for thought you're going to be running this character just like any other character trying to throw all her abilities no you have to shut off two of them in order to get that awesome bonus and then you can actually see what this girl's made out of I'm going to empower her S1, make it do a little bit more. It's going to be just crazy to see her laser face everything. Because that S1 charge is quick already. I can put skill charge 1 on her, skill stock 1 on her. Um, I don't know if purple orb is going to be worth it to give you plus 1 more stock to everything. But you, yeah, I, I think you could do some crazy laser machine gun stuff. Um, We'll have to see. Very different. Something completely different to play with. Um, yeah, I still have to figure out how her her ability works to get rid of elemental resistance. I don't know if that's just for her or if it's for the party. If she's actually dropping elemental resistance that other people can bank off of. Or if elemental resistance is just counting less and less for her as she stacks her attacks up against you for that particular element. Maybe it's just not working if you have all of them equipped. I don't know. I'm going to have to really go through it. If anybody has anything to add on how this stuff works, feel free, please. Educate us all because right now I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going on with this girl. Uh, very cool that it's different, though. Uh, this gives me some hope for a very fun and nifty little character that might be able to do some cheese-worthy stuff. We'll have to see. Like I said, I'm sure I missed plenty of stuff on how this girl works. Please leave a comment, and we can talk about this. And... Get her fingered out today. Later, everybody.